Hey guys, good morning, it's Stephanie. So today I'm going to do a vlog of what a Saturday is in PA school or how I spend my Saturdays in PA school. I think it would, hopefully would be pretty interesting for those of you interested of how a student lives or how student life is in PA school. So that's why I decided to make it. So I am currently in my car, as you can see. Uh, it is Saturday, March 23rd. It's 8.24 a.m. right now, and I am here because I have tutoring at 8.30. So I woke up at 7.30, had breakfast, and then I drove here. Um, actually, the school is pretty empty right now because nobody ever comes to school on Saturdays, but my program does offer tutoring, which is, I think, awesome. Um, I really like going to tutoring because the second years, so students are the ones that teach us, so students that are in clinicals and some of them are really really good so I'm going for pathophysiology tutoring and I will also go for ICM which is also known as introduction to clinical medicine so I will be there today here and I'll probably be here till 6 30 since they do close the library unfortunately at 6 so I will be here until that time and I will be vlogging my entire day um, today on a Saturday so for those of you who are interested, just keep watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, I also want to apologize for how I look. It's been a really, really honestly crappy week. Uh, we just had spring break. We came back from spring break and we had two exams. I had an exam on Wednesday and then I had an exam on Thursday. So I had my anatomy exam on Wednesday and then we have a cadaver lab. So I had my cadaver lab or anatomy practical on Thursday. I studied during the break. And honestly, guys, I feel like my grades that I got did not reflect that at all. So I'm a little upset about that and I'm a little tired. But, you know, it's a very humbling experience. That means I have to study more and study harder. And hence why I'm here for tutoring for my patho class and my um, ICM class. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Okay guys, so here I am at my pathophysiology tutor class. I was here from 8.30 to 10.30 for two hours. And then after that, the next tutoring class I go to wasn't until 2.30 and it's from 2.30 to 4.30. So from 10.30 to 2.30, I just went back to the library, which is literally right across the building from this classroom. And I studied from 10.30 to 2.30. I usually like to split up my day if I'm studying for 12 hours. I'll usually spend four hours on each subject since I, I have Black Monday exams where I am tested on four major classes, which are my pharmacology class, my ICM class, my pathophysiology class, and my patient encounter class. So I usually dedicate four hours to each class. So since I already dedicated two hours to this class since it was during tutoring, um, I just put two more hours towards that class uh, studying outside of tutoring when I'm at the library, which is what you are going to see next. So in the next video clip, you'll see the library. I usually am here 95% of the time. It's actually on the third floor of the library. They have a separate area for graduate students, which I think is pretty awesome because it's really, really quiet there. They have little cubicles, little desks, as you can see. And for me to be able to focus and actually study, it has to be an area that's very quiet. So this area works perfectly for me. Um, I spend most of my time here, especially specifically on the weekends or after class, I'll just go upstairs and then I'll study here. So what you'll see now also will be notes. So this is my patho, the pathophysiology notes that I use. These are actually my classmates notes. Um, I sometimes use my notes, but most of the time I use my classmates' notes. Uh, she writes great notes, and they are to the point. And as you can tell, they are actually on my iPad. So I decided to purchase a new iPad Pro that just came out, a 2018 version with the Notability app that I just clicked on. And if you're about to start PA school, I really recommend the, the iPad Pro. It's awesome. Um, as you can see, it, I have all my physician assistant books on here, the majority of them. I can say almost all of them, actually. The Pants Prep Pearls, um, my Pores Pathophysiology book. That way I don't have to be carrying around my books. I can just easily access them from my iPad. So I really, really recommend this. 
Okay guys, so I was at tutoring from 8 to 10.30 and then I went to the library and I studied for about 3 hours. Um, now it is 1.30 and I am going to practice for my next class which is called Patient Encounter. Um, this is where we learn how to obtain a past medical history from a patient, um, chief complaint, and how to do physical exams. So. Next week on Tuesday, I'm going to go shadow a doctor and we are responsible for performing a physical exam on a patient and also uh, to obtain, basically interview them what is the reason why they're coming in for. So I am practicing for that, hence why I am in this room right now. I'm here with my classmate, she went to the restroom, so you guys will be able to see us practice. Uh, the physical exam because even though I learned it all the first semester I feel like I forget it specifically when it comes down to moving the extremities of the bodies so you guys will be able to watch that so I'm gonna we're gonna do that for about an hour till 2 30 and then at 2 30 I'm going to another tutoring class which is for introduction of clinical medicine and then I should be there till 4 30 and then I'm planning on going to the gym and then after that going back and studying again all right, guys. So as you can tell in this video, I'm practicing with my classmates. I am practicing the abdominal exam and um, the hip exam, etc., for my upcoming practical for my patient encounter exam. So uh, I really recommend you to find a classmate to study with, to practice with. And this is actually one of my classmates that I always study with the majority of the time. And we always spend each time with each other practicing, specifically when it comes to practicals. Uh, it's really good to have another student that knows what they are testing you on. I mean, you can practice on your family members, but I always think that it's better if you practice with a fellow classmate because they can see what you are doing wrong and they can correct you, which was the case here. And I'm actually still at the library here. They have some rooms that you can book. And this is what we did. We booked a room and then we were here for about two hours and uh, then we went to tutoring after that so this is me practicing for our patient encounter exam so after tutoring which ended around 4 30 i studied for a few more minutes about 30 minutes at the library and then I was at the library until 5 p.m after the library i went to the gym and was there for about an hour and i actually ended up leaving school around six o'clock and headed back home so I just got home. It is it's 6.30. Yeah, so it's 6.30. I just got out of the gym, hence why I'm wearing my gym clothing. Just got home, and I'm actually going to study a little bit more. I think I'm going to study till um, 10, 10.30, and then I'm going to go to sleep and probably do the same thing tomorrow. All right. So this is me in my room. I like to go over flashcards before I finish studying. As you can tell, it was around 9.57. I actually went to sleep at 10.30 that day. And repetition is really the key, guys, for learning information. And I actually made it a thing to go over flashcards at least once a day, every day. And it really helped me out the second semester. I got actually A's, which I did not get my first semester. So repetition is always the key, guys. So... Oh, as you can see, this was my day uh, from the moment I wake up to when I go to sleep. I started starting around 8.30, stopped studying at 10.30. So that's around 14 hours of studying. In between, I did have an hour where I went to work out and, of course, my breaks where I ate. But most of the time when I was eating, I was actually studying also. So this is just what a typical Saturday is in PA school for me. Not, now, not all Saturdays are like this for all PA students, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what a Saturday is in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.